really the whole concept of this is that it is it, it comes in on a barge, it's dropped to the seabed, it does no harm whatsoever. The, the, the thing rotates very slowly so that it, it, and we get massive torque loads, but, but from that we can generate huge loads onto the generator. But what makes it truly special are the turbine blades that we worked with Cranfield University to develop. And, and the, nothing's like it before. They're, they're, they're unique and they're patented. Why I would say this is different to others is this isn't kind of brute force and massive weights. This is really done, it's a lightweight intelligence structure that knows what's happening and that works with the environment to harness energy. It's fantastic to see this project taking place in, in Pembrokeshire. I'm looking forward to, to seeing it when I go out on the uh, boat in uh, just a minute and just to see what can be done. talking about a type of technology that harnesses a naturally occurring phenomenon, namely tidal uh, power, and to be able to harness that power to create electricity ticks so many boxes as far as Wales's future is concerned. Well, th this funding is really important to us uh, because without this grant from the European Regional Development Fund, ad administered by the Welsh Government, we wouldn't be able to go ahead with the project to build the device, to install it and then to operate it for a year. It, the funding itself will be match funded by uh, Eco2 Limited, who are our majority shareholders. And in total, the package of around £11 million allows us to do all our work over the next three years. The next phase of this project will be to, to use the learning that we've had from the first 12 months of the demonstration to actually uh, move away and to try to, to, to develop the device a bit further and to actually use those learnings to actually try to develop a, a, a pre-commercial farm in the first instance. Um, there's lots of tidal current around the area and around the UK which is very much suitable for Delta Stream um, and the plan is to try to find alternative sites to, um, to, to develop some commercial power. However, you know, if, if you look through, um, uh, through, through North America and Canada, down in Australia, Australasia and such like, there's fantastic opportunities to, to provide serious levels of, of power. And we're talking about thousands of devices. So, so this with regard to um, developing real green, clean, renewable energy, together with the potential green jobs, that, that the massive amount of employment that this technology could, could, could generate is, uh, is quite an opportunity for us. We know that this type of technology can help to reduce our carbon footprint in the future. But secondly, of course, it's a way to create uh, sustained jobs because we know that people are going to be needed to manufacture and maintain the equipment out in the sea in years to come, and that has to be done locally.